In this video, you'll learn how to pronounce Vancouver in English. Did you know that I used to live in Vancouver? But probably not the Vancouver you're thinking of. I bet you didn't know that there are two Vancouvers. And they're fairly close together. Stay tuned to find out more about the two Vancouvers and exactly how to say Vancouver in English. The Vancouver I lived in was in the United States, in Washington State. Vancouver, Washington is a close neighbor of Portland, Oregon, and some may even call it a suburb of Portland. This is the little-known Vancouver. It's mostly a residential town, not much of a tourist destination, and has a population of only about 175,000 people. The more famous Vancouver is the large, culturally diverse Canadian city with a population of over two and a half million people. What's interesting is that these two cities are not far apart from each other. So people are often confused when they hear about Vancouver, Washington, since it's only about a one hour flight or a five hour drive from Vancouver, Canada. Both Vancouver's have some things in common. They're both on the Pacific coast of North America and are full of natural beauty. They have beautiful green forests with mild climates and lots of rain. Vancouver, Canada is located on a saltwater strait close to the Pacific Ocean, while Vancouver, Washington is situated on the Columbia River, maybe 50 miles from the ocean. If you're watching this video, maybe you have a connection to Vancouver. Do you live in Vancouver or have you visited? Which Vancouver? The one in Canada or Washington? Let me know in the comments. Maybe we were neighbors at one time. Since there are two Vancouver cities and several other Vancouver place names in the US Northwest and British Columbia, Canada, you're probably wondering what the word Vancouver means. Vancouver is named after a British naval officer who explored and charted the area in the late 1700s. His name was Captain George Vancouver. Now let's talk about how to correctly pronounce Vancouver. The most important thing in the pronunciation of most words is to put the stress on the correct syllable. This word has three syllables. Van, Ku, Ver. The middle part is the loudest and longest. Vancouver. Now let's take a look at the individual sounds that could possibly give you trouble. There are two V's in this word. If V is a problem sound for you, just start with the mouth position for the F. Put your upper front teeth on your bottom lip. And now add voice to pronounce a V. You can feel your vocal cords vibrating here in your throat as you say the V sound. Van. If you have trouble with the V, take a look at my video on the V pronunciation. Note that the A sound in van is the American short A. To make this sound, open your mouth big and the front of your tongue should touch the inside of your bottom front teeth, like this. Ah. Ah. Here are a few words that have that sound. Van, man, cat, and bat. Need more practice? I have a video on the ah sound too. Now the middle syllable ku is fairly easy. Ku. The C has a K sound and the OU is pronounced oo, like the sound in the words food or moon. Pull your tongue back and round your lips when you make this sound. Oo. Since the oo is in a stressed syllable, it's especially important to stretch out this sound. Vancouver. Vancouver. 
and be careful when pronouncing the last syllable. Correctly pronouncing the er sound is pretty important for clear, understandable North American English, whether you're in the U.S. or in Canada. Make sure you're pronouncing a soft sounding er. Your tongue is floating in the middle of your mouth and it does not touch the roof of your mouth. Er. Your mouth and tongue are tense when you're pronouncing this er sound. And notice how I round and stick out my lips. Er. Er. For more information and practice, check out my er pronunciation and spelling video. So for the ending of Vancouver, don't forget your V pronunciation. Attach that to the er sound and you get ver. Ver. So putting it all together now, the pronunciation is Vancouver. Let's practice it in a couple of sentences. We're going to Vancouver for the weekend. Have you ever been to Vancouver? I really recommend visiting either Vancouver. Whichever Vancouver you choose to visit, you'll find lots to see and do and you'll have a great time. But if you're a tourist, the best times to go are between May and October. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And make sure you're pronouncing another city in the area correctly. Seattle. That's where I am now. This city may be even harder for you to pronounce, so watch that video now. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.